Oh, nice. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn Frozen Wilds DLC. Um, man, I am so self conscious of how thin these walls are sometimes. Uh, support me so I can buy freaking, uh, what do you call it? Sound dampening wall stuff. Because I'm, get, I'm getting close to it, but probably not. Tear. Oh, let's put tear. On damage. Yeah, I'll get the tinker skills. So it's fine. To be fair, I think the only place the walls are truly thin is actually at the doors. The doors between rooms. Oh my gosh. Almost made that mistake. Oh. Electrical impact. Oh. It was hit with several electrical impacts. Okay. Let's... Oh, I really want to buy... Oh, hello. Hang on. Please. I want to buy at least the... What did they call it? The the blue stuff. Map. It's that blue gleam map. A badger bone and goat skin. I don't think I have those yet. That would be up here. A goat skin. Badger bone. Oh, I have a squirrel bone. I have the bone of my child. Oh boy. Quickly running out of room. As per usual. Where's Tinker? Okay. Okay. It's dark. It's so dark. Like, it's even darker than when it rains in the main game. Like when you're in the jungles and it's like this really hard rain. I do love that she runs differently in really deep snow with like her legs like up. Like, Cause it's really difficult, nigh impossible. Bergling oh. Zander, his apprentice went north of the river. Hopefully not Pretty sure far. I see footprints. <laughs> Oh, wait. I'm going south now. Oh, yo. Dang it. Where do you want me to go? Must be that blossom bloom. That must be oh. looking out of that. That is a machine. A new machine control tower. Holy! Oh, that's what that is. Okay, from the map. Stones overridden machines. Oh, like if I overrode a machine. Prepares and provides shock resistance to hostile machine. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Weakness all override. No, okay. Well. Hello. Naltuk? Who are you? How did you find me? Bergrind told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Osteram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Araya. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. What can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The daemon's energy pulses from them. Rallies the machines, even repairs them. 
Aratok said this daemon was frenzy. Oh machines. no. Look there. I'm clipping. Those with the purple markings. They belong to the daemon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. A corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Well, then you know more than I do. These towers, were they part of your corruption? Those are new to me, too. Like I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. This dialogue might change if I knew more about the corruption. Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of mm. questions. Only when I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Aurea wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. I'm sorry. All right. You want to stop the spread of the daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Will you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Aurea. Thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> but I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is. Is my tummy not cold? Oh my gosh. I just realized my tummy's bare. Look how cold. See how cold I am? Oh. Kill the machine. Destroy it. Override it. I mean, maybe. I don't know if this pulse is gonna do me in. I think I just elbowed it and it died. Oh. Let's see what this does. Okay then. Let's see if this thing can work for me. Oh, okay, so before it makes them it gives them like a high resistance. Yeah. It gives them a high resistance to shock. When it's active, but when it's not active it'll when it works for me. Then it shocks them for me. You gonna ask me about the tall neck? Seems I can take care of the machines and towers. The daemon's next. You claimed its power for yourself somehow. Mm. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. What she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine. A great machine covered in blue. Blue, you say. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as yes. reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. Thank you. You said something about blue gleam at the end of the shaman's path? A crystal that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest hmm. ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. <laughs> He's like, this. <laughs> here's my religious beliefs, but also capitalism. Bergen told me you're Aurea's apprentice. In her absence, I serve the chieftain and his Werak as an advisor, a scout, a speaker for the blue light. 
A lot of responsibilities. I don't know if I can live up to Aurea's example, but I have to try. I owe her that much. She took a chance on me. An aspiring shaman from the edge of the world. No one else would. Were you with Aurea when they attacked the mountain? I wish I had been, even with all that happened. I'm no warrior, though, so she bid me wait. When Aurea and the chieftain returned, I saw them argue bitterly. I don't know what about exactly. Then she came to me, gave me my task, and left us. I feel like they're emoting a little bit more, like, with their hands and stuff. Like, Horizon Zero Dawn's always been good about, like, having people look a little bit more realistic. But I feel like in the DLC, they kind of well, bumped that up. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Araya at the end of it? No. She goes further up, somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her? I have faith she will hear the voice again. Oh, there's more to this. Oh ho ho. Let's see. I'm about to walk past that, so I might as well. Oh, there's another one up here. I am curious about this town, but I assume if we follow the main mission, not only will I get weapons, <laughs> um, I will- Oh, look, I'm freaking another one. Ta-da! I will find- Alright, I guess I'm off to the ice I will find things! Find path. I want to do this so she stops being ropey at camp. Also because I'm a nice person. Oh, hang on. I hear machines. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Oh. This must be the ruin Lala was talking about. It's dim. Flooded too, like she said. It's just wrong. Snap loss. Probably came from somewhere up river. Follow the river, find its source. I got a goat bone. It's not what I needed, but okay. I was okay so when she was talking about like it's a place built by the old ones blah 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 I thought she was talking about maybe the amphitheater but it looks like this is an actual like secondary dam or something maybe
Oh my gosh, I feel very I've never played on easy baby mode. I feel I feel very powerful. did invest early on on the ability to remove my traps because I use them a lot even if this is an inferior trap thingamajig was it like the trip caster I don't have the blast or anything there's frost between my teeth. What? Must be the entrance to this den. Frost between your teeth? That's not healthy. Goats. I don't need, they don't need that. This is simple. Yes. As the waters recede, the people return. A large pink tinted rock marks the summit of Bukit Timah Hill, Singapore's highest point. At one point, 164 meters above sea level. That's it. Charmaine Lowe records herself hollow next to the rock, her bright smile contradicted by the nervous fidgeting with her prismatic fake nails, and 30 styles of dermal jewelry. I thought I'd never see this place again. I still can't believe it's real. Proud Bukit Timah has stood firm against time and weather, but the result, rest of Singapore, Singapore fared less well. With approximately a third of the nation island at less than five meters above sea level, Singaporeans like Charmaine were forced to abandon their homes in exorbitant waters during the snoring 20s. Oh my gosh. Now the surviving members of Charmaine's family returning alongside many others as global temperatures and sea level stabilize, people come by air or by water. Some seek refuge from the deleterious effects of the century of river tragedy, which whose cost still reverberate today. All hope to build new lives atop the collapse of the once stable and prosperous country. Singapore represents one of many states abandoned by their citizens in the aftermath of heavy, heavy coastal flooding. Questions surrounding the ownership are difficult to answer. Government and law enforcement personnel fled far in advance of the country's devastation and documentation of title is scattered at best. The plot of land on which Charmaine's childhood home once sat had belonged to the Lowe family, etc. etc. Well, etc. You know, when we, whenever, if we could ever see it. Is this where I. What do you want me to do with it? I mean, I could keep going. These mountains must be the ice wasps. The shaman's path begins somewhere up above. Okay, it's a search thing. 
Okay, so I've been running around and talking actually for like two minutes, <laughs> but I just realized that the pigment map is here. It's not a quest she gave me. I had to buy the map special. So like I, I already saw the maps, I know, but I'm just re-realizing. So I bought it and I just need, each one needs a different thing. So that's good. I really want this, but I can't, I can't have any of these. Is there a badger? I need a badger bone. Also, I, I don't know what this thing wants from me. What, what does this what does this quest want? Does it want me to go underwater? Can I even do that? Ugh. I can't go underwater. I, I don't know. I mean, I can keep going. search area I mean maybe maybe I'm supposed to find something as I go I don't know or maybe it just follows me as I run up the river Come here got too much already mm. Following me. That's weird. Like the the notification is just wrong. Yeah. That must be where the water's coming from. Looks like something else. Indeed. I don't actually know. Is there a dam near Yellowstone? There probably <laughs> is. Ancient ruins. Oh, don't mind me. Just checking for those wily badgers. Well, somebody wanted in. Maybe they blew this entire ledge off just to get through the door. Oh, I have to. Oh, ooh. Okay. I hope I can. Can I get back out? Okay, I can. I want to. Flooding detected. <coughs> Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin. Is that the Mmm. It's Yellowstone flooding. Interesting. I wonder if it flooded back in. So this is probably a dam that was built, like, during the future time, not necessarily our Looks time. Looks like a control center. What happened in here to start the water flowing? <laughs> Intake tower malfunction. Drainage system offline. That's probably not good news. Looks like most of the facility is underwater. What has happened? The lock positions. Oh, crap. I haven't seen one of these since I was a little kid. Oh boy. There must be some kind of code. This is so weird. Maybe I should try scanning objects. Yeah. This, area. this is weird. To experience this. Oh, there's people. There's a person. Nobody. As far as I can tell, that's, what, that's who's going to read this. Those spooky guys showed up today with that creepy blevins to take measurements of our workstations, and next week they start installing feral servitors to do our jobs. Bye bye, Shelly. Bye bye, Laura. See you never. Hope you enjoy basic income. It's going to be weird to say goodbye to this place when Quentin and I split. This was all I had. Thank goodness for a job where I could sit at a piano and press buttons and cry all day, which I think is why we're doing this, hiding the tapes of our rehearsals in the dam. These tapes are our memories, our ghosts. Through them, we get to haunt this place, keep it human in some small way. 
This control room was where I was sitting when Laura came in, dragging an old practice amp and a guitar behind her. Shells, she said. Girl. So I was looking at schematics for this place, and I found the perfect practice space. These acoustics in this place. Seriously bonkers. Like, echoing through the entire valley kind of bonkers. Legit, you're gonna soil yourself when you see it. I remember asking, practice space? Peace, Shelly. Interesting. So it wasn't, like, intentionally made. So yeah, it was, it was just a water retention thing, but it actually ended up being a really nice acoustic thing. Could use my focus. See what it I wonder because this here it says that this it says specifically like talking about songs, and the Banook said something about songs. So I wonder if that's like some sort of thing that they found in the past that's sort of um. Okay. Ho, 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 ho. That has. Not that long like affected either. their perspe perspective like if there's somehow some way they were able to access anything or maybe they just came across the singing capabilities on their own hmm? are you oh boy an awesome Mm. Are you all right? <laughs> well, you don't know how happy you just made me. <laughs> For a moment, I thought my fire was snuffed. The forge gone cold. But nope, nope. Not old Gildan. He's gonna look at me, baby. You're. Welcome. Uh, wait. Start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. When you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish, ringy what's-its from the wall beside the door. No luck. So I had to go with that panel with the button. Even less luck. My gentle experimentation caused the chamber to mm. flood. Wow. So I pushed the button again, perhaps a little too enthusiastically. Sparks and smoke. Now obviously I came here to investigate. My cautious oh, footsteps wow. may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. Her face! And when the bridge began to collapse, <laughs> I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. By the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. And thusly, thusly. do we come to the present moment. I see my dude. You said something about an artifact? Indeed. That storage room is Rimming with treasures from the old ones, but one in particular caught my eye. An intricate looking glass. Mm. I've only seen one such device before. My old mom brought one back for me from, from wherever she'd gone to that time. <laughs> I remember holding it, staring into its face, seeing myself and my mother just over my shoulder, smiling. And one of these looking glasses. It's in the storage room. Oh, yes. I'm quite sure. I peered into that dim little chamber and there it was. He's I've pulling my strings. So long, I... Yes, this time I'm sure I have. Well, there's no way we're getting into that storage room without another ring. It's part of the locking mechanism that controls the door. You don't say. Well, that's fantastic news. Marvelous, even. You've got two hands. I've got two hands. Mm. Perfect! <laughs> my savior, my salvation, and if you like, why wouldn't you? Of course you will. My accomplice. <laughs> Together, that ring is as good as ours, and with it, the storage room and its spoils. Didn't you say you dropped the ring in the water? Well, I'll grant you that adds a heretofore undiscussed level of complexity to the proceedings. <laughs> These people are also like, uh, like I've always liked the characters in this game. They they do a really good job with them, but these ones seem a bit more like their manner of speaking is more animated and like individual. So you found the button that controls the flow of water. Quite by accident. And then you broke. That oh. Also, quite by accident. 
The panel's the only way to shut this place down, as far as I can tell. This isn't gonna be easy. That storage room is filled, top to bottom. Would you be surprised to find the parts you need in there? I certainly wouldn't be. So, we need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. Then I can finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. <laughs> okay, Gildan. How are we gonna get that Focus. ring? Focus. Two sets of hands, girl. Two sets of hands. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> Behind us lie a pair of enormous gates. But I believe the gates must be operated in time. Oh, no. Together, we can dry this place out. Guess we better get started then. I guess we better. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to end it here, actually. <laughs> but, um. <laughs> I do like all these new NPCs. They're very animated, they're very pizzazzy. Uh, but thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it in my haphazard run trying to explore a whole new DLC area. So thank you all so much. And really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Scalito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much. And Christopher, my tree tier patron. Thank you extra special so much. Truly, I appreciate all your support. Thank you everybody for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.